St. John Vianney, who is the patron saint of parish priests and patron of seminaries, also the patron of this parish, St. John Vianney, was uh, chosen for that reason because he was a pastor, a, a, a holy pastor in the small town of Ars in France outside of the city of Lyon. Towards the end of St. John Vianney's life, the devil appeared to him and said to him, if there were three more priests like you in the world, my work would be totally ruined. Imagine that, only three more priests like St. John Vianney and the devil's work would be destroyed. What was it so significant about St. John Vianney that he did? Primarily, he spent his time 13 hours to 18 hours each day hearing confessions and forgiving people's sins. In the summer and in the winter, day in and day out, people would come to him from not only the city of ours, but from all over France to go to confession and to have their sins forgiven. In the readings today, we have the description of leprosy, a highly contagious disease. And those who had it had to proclaim loudly unclean to keep people at their distance so they wouldn't come near to them or even touch them lest they catch the disease. And they had to live outside of the city or the village. And so not only was there the illness that they suffered from, but there was also the isolation, having to be apart from the community because of the contagious nature of it. They had to show themselves to a priest to determine whether they were healed, if they were healed. In the gospel, then, there is this man who is afflicted with leprosy, but he comes before Jesus and kneels down and begs him to be healed. And Jesus, rather than uh, contracting the disease from him by touching him, touches him and healing power goes out of him and heals the man with the illness. And he experiences great joy. Jesus says, of course I will it. Be cleaned. This all is an example of the spiritual separation that we experience due to sin in our own lives. We can't see it, but it feels in some ways like even greater separation than those uh, with a contagious illness. The guilt and the shame. And Psalm 32 uh, spells out the joy of being forgiven. The healing by the loving action of God who removes our sins. It says, Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, you just. So just as the, the leper in the gospel experienced great joy at being healed and being able to come back to the community, that's the joy that we experience through the sacrament of reconciliation. The fruits of the sacrament, our sins are forgiven. There is given grace to resist temptation in the future. Our merits are restored. We are restored to the community because we are forgiven on behalf of the church. And also peace of soul. So often we feel much better after the sacrament of confession. I have three stories about the grace of the sacrament. First, the, a college professor was ex explaining that she experienced dryness in prayer, no longer really able to hear God speaking to her, and things just didn't seem to be going right in her life. She had lost the joy of life. And when asked, have you been to confession, she thought, well, what does that have to do with anything? How can that be helpful? But out of a sense that God was asking her to go to confession, she did, and all of a sudden peace came into her soul. She was able to hear God again in prayer, and she had a renewed joy in her heart. Secondly, Cardinal Dolan tells the story when he was a priest, uh, a man came to him who had been seeing a psychiatrist for serious issues. And after the, afterwards, the psychiatrist called Cardinal Dolan and said, uh, what did you do? You have been able to accomplish more with this man in one session than I have been able to in five years of counseling. 
And he said, well, I heard his confession and gave him forgiveness. Thirdly, a thank you letter from a former parishioner. Thank you for your constant encouragement to experience reconciliation, especially for those of us who hadn't in quite some time. That day changed my life after eight years of struggling, and I have seen many blessings since. Jesus continues to come to us today through the sacraments, and especially the, the grace of forgiveness through the sacrament of reconciliation, so that we can experience the joy in the psalm that our sins are blotted out and our guilt is removed. We pray for the courage to receive the sacrament of reconciliation.